Welcome to the very first episode of Ask the Mamora Twins. This series will not only feature just one twin, but the two of us. Let me explain how this is going to work. So you guys will send us questions about anything. Absolutely any last situation or experience you would love to get our opinion about. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> So anyways, grab your popcorn, sit back, and enjoy today's episode. Hey! Ah, Dara, your fruits now. Oh. <laughs> I'm a 26 year old lady, and I have been celibate for four years now. I made this decision because I've been through so much in the hands of men. I've noticed that whenever I meet a guy who seems to be interested in me, and whenever I tell him I'm celibate, he just seems to back off. In fact, I met a guy who once told me I'll never find a man if I go on like this. I've been dating my boyfriend for four months now, and at the beginning of our relationship, we made an agreement to be celibate. However, he started pressuring me for sex. At this point, I don't know what to do because I love him so much and I do not want to lose him. He keeps telling me that he believes sex is necessary for intimacy in a relationship. I don't want to lose him because I don't feel I'll find someone as amazing as he is. What should I do? I really appreciate you that you decided to set your standards, like the whole celibacy standard before meeting somebody because that makes you should I say like more serious with your goal and more serious with your decision? Like when you're first meeting someone, like if you don't have standards set, you yeah, kind of it, go with the flow. Yeah, and it's just, you know, you just want to compromise. So it's, it's a good thing that you already, you know, set this standard and you're already four years in. Because honestly, I believe in any relationship, it's very important that you already have the standard standards. If not, anything will just go. So this is a good thing. The first thing I want to say in response to this is that please don't compromise on your values. Don't compromise on your on your standards. Like you've come so far in your journey, like you're four years in. So you don't want to now throw away these four years just because of this guy that you've met. You already made this decision of celibacy for a reason. You already mentioned that oh, it's because you went through stuff with guys in the yeah. past. I don't know what you went through, but it must have been something that was probably so intense that even made you make that decision in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to make the same mistakes you made with this guy. In life, we all make mistakes to be able to learn from them. Most important thing you should be focused on is ensuring you're not repeating that mistake. So you already made this decision, so stick with it. And another thing is that you also don't even want to be regretful in the situation whereby this relationship doesn't work out you don't want to look back and i'll be like ah i ended up you know giving up after yeah, four exactly. years just because of this guy yeah about being regretful because it's not like as if i'm trying to be negative but the fact is that it is this is life like you can never determine how something will end yeah. so even though like you're saying oh he's very amazing he's this he's that you can never be too sure on the outcome and how it feels that okay is that some people that decide to have sex with a guy just because they feel so confident in the relationship but you can never be too sure you don't want a situation that you keep on having sex with a guy just because you feel confident in the relationship like what if it does not work out how many guys could you have slept with before you end up getting married that one just brought up a very important point because me something i always tell myself is that honestly there's no guarantee i mean i'm not saying you should be pessimistic okay, no, about yeah. life but just like there's no security in any relationship like the highest form of you know security when it comes to a relationship is marriage so <laughs> marriage so you cannot say that oh the fact that i mean stuff happens the fact that you're all crazy about this guy doesn't mean that oh few months or few years down the line you feel that way so i'm not saying you should be pessimistic but honestly like the cost of premarital sex honestly it really outweighs the benefits because just all these things you know pregnancy like that month where your period is late now i know like how it usually happens sometimes yeah. your heart will be in your mouth yeah, and your brain be. jesus please <laughs> i hope i'm not pregnant you know st there's just you know unhealthy attachments because especially the unhealthy attachment thing because i feel like we're always so focused on you know protecting ourselves from the physical consequences of sex but we don't really think about the you know the spiritual aspect ah, and, damn and, <laughs> and that's the um whole you know soul type thing because the truth is that sex 
whenever sex is involved and you know and you have to break up with a person it makes breaking up much harder like it's easier to move on whenever you haven't slept with somebody but once you steps with them like you become attached to them so it's kind of like you're trying to break away but you can't because you know there's just this bond it's like it's super cool so it's, it's just hard to let go so that's just one of the benefits of just you know keeping yourself because in like i said in the event that this relationship breaks up it will be much more easier for you to move on said that um he's an amazing guy so you don't want to lose him it seems like you're considering having sex with him just to keep him but one thing i want to mention to you is that sex does not keep a relationship sex does not keep a man or does not keep a woman and i bet there'll be so many people opposed to this think about it like if sex actually did keep a relationship like relationships will not be ending because of infidelity issues or because um one person cheated on the other and that's why sometimes like when you're talking to people or when you hear stories about people um, they will say stuff like, oh, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I'm so sure I did everything right in there. I just tried on sex positions. But yes, he went on to be with this other girl. Or she went up and cheated with this other guy. And you would be like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The fact that you're not doing anything wrong. Of course, cheating is born out of greed. And sex does not prevent anyone from being greedy. But what actually keeps a relationship is that solid foundation, which is friendship. Because yeah. think about it this way. So like I have this very close friend in England. <laughs> like we've been friends for so long. And oh my god, I love her so much. We're always fighting. But the fact is that in respect of how bad the fight is or how bad the argument is, like we always still come back to each other because we know we have this strong bond. We know we respect the friendship and the relationship we develop. So that's how I see things too. Like if your relationship is based upon friendship, you guys will ensure you do not do anything to hurt the other person. So that's why I say sex does not keep a relationship, but the solid foundation which is friendship. Like I just also feel like sex sometimes it gives people a false sense of you know intimacy because yeah, like because you become attached to the person. But truth is that the fact that you're attached to somebody doesn't mean that the friendship is there because i mean it's like down mentioned friendship is that foundation and it's what will keep the relationship going even you know because even when people get married what keeps the marriage going <laughs> is friendship sorry guys i'm losing my voice <laughs> so because it's, it's that you know you see people have been married for several years do you think oh is is sex or something that has been keeping them obviously at some point it's not all those sexual feelings or whatever that you know that helps keep a marriage or something is the friendship that will really determine you know how long this marriage lasts and the second thing i wanted to add was just the fact that sometimes i feel like sex gives this false sense of intimacy like you feel like you're close to somebody and that closeness doesn't stem from the fact that the friendship is there but rather because of the fact that you guys are attached but the fact that you're attached to somebody doesn't mean that oh there's really that solid bond so i just want to say that honestly i think you should just focus on the friendship just building that genuine friendship because it's just honestly it's it's kind of what really test things like in the absence of the sex that like, okay can you guys still be as close you mentioned that um um ever since you said success you were celebrating journey that guys whenever you tell guys that oh yeah celebrate they want to oh. run away and back up and oh I just want to say that honestly, even though it may seem scary, I mean that's not it's something that you should be happy about because I feel like this celibacy thing is helping you without the guys that, you should that, your option. that you don't even need in your life because I just feel is absurd for me as a guy to meet a girl that I like. You know, she has everything I desire in a woman, she's smart, she's beautiful, you know, she's god fearing and all these things and i now choose to ignore all those things because she tells me that oh we cannot be having sex like it just shows how superficial somebody is for somebody to place so much emphasis on oh, sex yeah, exactly. you know as the priority so number one that's not somebody you, you want to be with because you don't want somebody that wants to be with you for what they can get from you like you want somebody that will be with you for you like for who you are and not what they can get from you so don't be scared all those guys that say oh i can't be with you trust me there are guys out there that are living these things because we know i mean we have guy friends that are also that believe in celibacy so trust me you will find somebody that will share those values with you and that will appreciate you for that thing yeah and another thing i wanted to add it's kind of tied into what that i said you need somebody that will be patient with you that understands where you're coming from because of course at the beginning of the relationship 
you won't just mention him that oh you're celibate you have you you give a reason why you're celibate and it's just like you mentioned it's because of everything that happened to you in the past so if he truly cares for you he will be patient and be understanding towards your decision because if he truly loves you he doesn't want to see you hurt the same way you were hurt in the past and how i see sex in relationships is that if a guy truly wants to be with you long term like that mentioned, do not put too much pressure on that because i'm like if he wants to be with you long term if he knows um you are you're going to be his for the rest of his life he knows one day he's going to get that sex from you yeah. so he'll be willing to wait but if he's willing to only be with you short term but that will make sense that he'll be putting more pressure on sex because it's like okay i need to do this one quickly i need to like mm. <laughs> I need to mm, and then move on to the next girl. So I'm like somebody that wants to be with you long term knows that one day he's gonna have this, one day he's gonna hit her. <laughs> so he's what's going on. <laughs> one day he's gonna hit her. So he'll be very patient with you back to the fact that there'll be fewer people coming to you. And it's actually a really good thing because if you have so many guys wanting to date you, it kind of creates confusion. So let me even use this analogy. Like I don't know, I haven't seen you, but I'm pretty confident that you're probably a very beautiful woman both inside and outside and you're, you're a queen so now we know sand where do we find sand sand is always on the ground mm -hmm. so it's easily accessible to everyone what about precious stones like gold um sapphire garnet or like all these precious stones where are they found they're found in the ground mm -hmm. so not everyone has access to them and that's because to be able to have access to gold in the ground you have to have you have to be skilled you have to at least have that expertise to know how to mine to be able to get that gold and only a few people know how to mine me i don't know how to mine she doesn't know how to mine like that's why i can also relate it to your situation that you're gold you're not just sand like you have so much value only yeah. a few people will be able to work hard enough only a few people will have the expertise to know how to get to you another thing i'll say is that you really need to talk to the guy again to kind of you know get where he's at as regards the same basic thing because you need to find out what his true reason is like is he just being celibate just because of you or does he really understand the reason behind it because it seems like because you said you mentioned that you guys have been dating for four months now and now all of a sudden he's um beginning to pressure beginning to pressure you so it may it may be like okay he never really even understood the importance in the first place so it was just like you know i'll just be celibate because of you or maybe in hopes of oh i can get her to change her mind mm -hmm. so you really need to sit down again and talk to him like okay what do you understand the value and um you know like are you willing to and if he doesn't like okay are you willing to learn and like for us to do this because i mean it could go two ways he may be like okay yeah like you know i'm willing to learn and let's do this or he may be like ah no i cannot do this like i have to i have to leave and of course in that situation <laughs> you just have to you know it's hard but you just have to let go because like i said you don't want to compromise your values so you know just sit down with him have this talk again and it's just very important that you know just in general for people out there to know the reason why you choose to wait for sex one important thing is for you to ask him why he decided to be celibate because i feel like your decision your reason is your driver because if you are like oh i just want to be celibate like there will be nothing to motivate you to keep up with that journey because irrespective of temptation you'll be able yeah. to think about okay i decided to do this because what's so and so happened in the past and all so just ask him like why what was his driving force what do you guys think what could you have done if you were facing the same situation i want you all to comment your thoughts below and please share this video with your friends and family so I could also gather their own inputs. Of course, keep your questions coming. Like, we love these questions because these are things that we all can relate to. So, it's just one of those things where, I mean, of course, being able to learn from other people's experiences. Exactly. And also, you know, just encourage people out there. And thank you guys so much for joining us today. And we hope to see you on our next session. Bye, guys. Bye.